Hey everyone, welcome back once again to our Azure Administrator series. Guys, I'm Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. In this class, I'm going to define you about the concept of Azure Storage Services. As per the agenda of AZ104, it's a second module. And in first module, we have already discussed about how to manage subscription, the services which is available in Azure Active Directory, like we discussed about how to manage our Active Directory user groups and assigning the roles and licenses to our user and groups as well. Now we need to move ourselves to next topic and next module, you can say that. So in this module, we will discuss about the concept of Azure Storage Services. As per the agenda, as per the content of AZ104, in case of storage, we must need to know each and every points like as what is storage, right? Second uh, module is uh, implement and manage storage services. So in case of implement and manage storage services, we'll start from the very basic like introduction of storage, implement storage and about storage services. We'll discuss about the storage kinds and uh, determine your application strategies. So these all are the topics that we need to cover in case of our Azure Administrator co based uh, content. So let's start with the basic understanding of storage and after that we'll move ourselves to the portal and we'll create one storage account and try to understand about the options and services which is available in uh, a single storage account. As per the name suggests, if we talk about the storage, so you know that every organization, every IT, non-IT organizational must be established at least one storage because the single storage is responsible to provide space to our client, right? It may be for client machine, for server, for another virtual environment. So we must need to establish at least one storage services. About the introduction, so let's talk about the Meaning of storage, as per the name suggests, the work of storage means if you want to save any data, if you want to configure kind of backup, you want to create a replication services, then storage come into the picture. About storage, so let's talk about storage. How many options are available in storage? So we have a multiple way to understand. Like I'm going to start from very basic, like as a SAN and NAS. As per the name suggests, the meaning of SAN is basically considered as a storage area network, right? The work of NAS is network attached storage. The second is network attached storage. As a Azure administrator, it's our responsibility. We should know about how we can manage the storage services. So that's why it's really important for us. We must need to know about the gap between SAN storage and NAS storage. Let me describe from the very basic. For example, uh, we have a one organization. This is our on-premises organization. In on-premises, we establish one storage device. This is the storage device. The capacity of this storage may be up to 100 TB. Okay, the capacity of this storage is approximately 120, uh, 100 uh, TB of space, which is contained by the storage device. N number of resources are available, like as uh, we have a multiple server, it may be ESXi server, it may be hypervisor server, maybe some uh, additional server like VPN and databases server are available in our environment. You want to share the space from your SAN storage to existing servers like this it means that you are using local area network and in case of SAN storage the concept of SAN storage it considered as a block based storage the meaning of SAN is considered as a block based storage in case of block based storage we are able to share the space in format of disk means each and every system contain a separate partition means each and every machines are able to access the space in format of block. You can see the chunks of space which is shared by the share storage. SAN storage established for local area network environment 
you can say that for a single organization or single branch if you want to distribute the space you can proceed with san storage as it is let's talk about nas storage second option is nas storage network attached storage as per the name suggests the meaning of network attached storage this is our branch one we have a multiple branch that we established in different geographical location branch one we established in location of maybe delhi branch two which is established in maybe location of pune and branch three established in location of dubai right these all are the offices that we established in different different geographical location and you are planning to establish one storage device same storage device that we used to establish in case of san right with the help of nas storage we are able to share the space from one location to different geographical location or you can say that using san storage we are able to distribute our storage to different different system which is situated in different geographical location this is considered as a nas right and it consider as a object based storage in other word you can say that which is core example of object based storage means you are unable to take a partition you are unable to create a partition in your uh, system if you access the space from the nas storage you are able to create partition only and only in case of san storage that's why it considered as a block based storage the nas storage you are able to upload the data and download the data it just like as a share folder we have n number of examples related to nas storage like you know very well about the google drive we have another example like as a one drive and you know very well about the concept of i cloud as well these all are the storage these all are the definition about the san storage and nas storage let me proceed for next step this is the basic as it is nowadays azure can give us option to establish our own storage means you can set up your own storage over a cloud and you have to pay the very basic amount for the hardware for the storage that you want to purchase from the azure portal so let me give you the complete information with the help of diagram how azure storage can perform the task and how many options are available in our azure storage account as we know very well azure contain up to 3600 different services as a azure administrator it's our responsibility we should know about uh, the core services related to the administrator which is responsible to manage the infrastructure of our on premises so storage is a one of important service that help us to configure our storage for backup for replication for another services as well for example uh, we established one storage account for example i'm going to proceed with azure storage account and a single azure storage account contain four different storage services the first one is container second is file share third is table and fourth is queues four different types of storage services you will find once you create the storage account like this now let's talk more about these services container and file share both are example of unstructured storage yes you can say that container and file share both are responsible to store unstructured data talk about queues and table these storage are responsible to contain structured data 
the unstructured data and structured data like as a sql or oracle or any db database services which is considered as a structured data as it is in case of unstructured we have a n number of examples like pdf we have a documents right we have another like images or video files these all types of files that we are using on daily basis which is considered as a unstructured data this is the basic information like azure storage contain four different services in single storage account these all are containers file share table and queues guys this is the basic information about the storage azure storage services in next class we will discuss about how to create a storage account and try to understand about the storage kind till then stay tuned with teach me cloud okay everyone please do subscribe your on teach me cloud channel youtube channel and we will connect soon and discuss more about the storage services take care bye bye